Okay, so let's go ahead and get that fact page up and running. And so again, this looks like this. And so we will grab all this stuff from an API. So first, we're going to use Axios, like I mentioned, and we're going to install it with NPM. So install Axios and save. All right, so now let's go over to our fact component, which is fact.js. First, let's get some initial setup done. Um, typically, you know, we go to our header JS real quick and grab just this import. I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to type it all out by hand. <laughs> so uh, fact.css, we'll create a fact.sass file. All right, that looks good. Uh, for the fact sass, there's really not much. Um, so what I'll do is just we don't even need access to the media query import line, so I'm just gonna paste this in and save it. You can pause, by the way, and, and copy this. Otherwise, you can grab it from the view project if you followed along there. All right, now let's go back to our fact.js. And so the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, I'm just gonna paste in some of the template, or all the template stuff, rather. Um, then we'll focus on the logic stuff in terms of grabbing an API object from uh, or JSON rather from Axios or with Axios. So what I'll do, just paste it right here. All right, so let me just tab these in real quick. So between those two divs that we have going. And uh, what we have, so is just the, uh, you know, just typical stuff um, is for the fact, and we have a subheading here, and then we have a div class of columns. And in here is where we take the object that we're eventually going to um, define up here and grab, and this is how in React that you iterate through an iterable uh, in a sense. So everything inside of here is going to be repeated based on this fax property right here, uh, which is going to be you know JSON. And so for each one of the results, it will spit out this, and we're using interpolation here for a title and a body of the uh, answer in question. Okay, oh, by the way, this should not be here. That was for view. All right, cool. So now up here, in order to make all this work, uh, we have to define a constructor again and pass in properties or props. And then we run super props. And by the way, I didn't really describe it before, but when uh, you use super props here when you want to be able to access this dot props, for example, in the constructor. So uh, after that, we define this dot state equals an object here, and we pass in a property. It's going to be a type of an array. All right. Sorry about that. Just trying to put a semicolon there at the end. And then we access a React lifecycle by component did mount. And in other words, when the component loads, then execute what is ever inside of here. So this is where we have to first import Axios from Axios, which is the package we installed. And then the if you followed along for the Vue.js portion, uh, this is almost pretty much identical. So we put axios.get, and then we pass in the URL of the API. So I'm using the JSON placeholder.typeycode.com, and we're grabbing the posts right here. And by the way, you can visit this URL just to see what this site's like. It's just, you know, allows you to create uh, or access an API. And then we run then response to a constant of facts equals res, the response, data, and then we're gonna run slice 0, 10, just to get 10 results, the first 10 results. And then this dot set state, we pass in facts. All right, great, so let's save that. We go back to our project, and there we go, we're at our fact page, we'll click on home, all that jazz looks good. Let's go to our fact page. And there we go, the first 10 results. All right, so now you probably have enough to go on, you know, just to ascertain the very basic and standard and core concepts and differences between 
React, and Vue.js. So now we have one more left, which is Angular. So we're going to see you know, how we correct, construct this same project and how we do these basic things like you know, handling user events like clicks um, and also property and style binding and then also grabbing information uh, or data from an API. All right, so we're going to be doing all that in Angular.